In this segment, uh, let's learn the sums related to direct proportions. Here you could see I have written I have written this means m means mangoes p means price. Five mangoes can be bought for twenty rupees. Six mangoes can be bought for twenty four rupees. Bear in mind this segment must be understood in a proper way. In a proper way. This segment is based on lot of questions that are given in the future, especially in grade 10 as well as in grade 11. Okay. Five mangoes can be bought for 20 rupees. Six mangoes can be bought for 24 rupees. You know that. Here I am going to write that six mangoes can be bought for x rupees. We know the value of x that 24 rupees. Using the knowledge of equations, we could take the value of x. This means this is the value of x is taken that x over x over consider this segment x over 20 x over 20 equals to 6 over 5 x over 20 x over 20 equals to 6 over 5 x over 20, we need to calculate the value of x. We know the value of x, but this method must be understood. x over 20 equals to 6 over 5. X, you see, here is an equation. x equals to 6 over 5 cross multiplication. Unless you know this segment, just learn this. 6 over 5 into 20. 20. You could, uh, you can multiply. Uh, when it is given that uh, x equals 6 over, x over 20 equals to 6 over 5. So x equals to 6 over 5 into 20. 6 over 5 into 20 mean here multiplication. So this can be simplified that 1 time and 4 times. 6 times for 24. So 6 mangoes can be bought for 24 rupees. We had known the answer that 24. Next segment. Here. I'm going to change, uh, I will write uh, here that uh, 24, 24, we do not know the value of, you think of this, you do not know the value of uh, price of 5 mangoes, but we know the value of 5 mangoes that 20 rupees. How can we calculate the value of x? We know the value of x that 20. How do we calculate the value of x? Here also it is used the knowledge of equations. x over the term which we need to find uh, is written first. That means x is written first. x over x over 24 x over 24 equals to how do we how do you write 6 over 5 over 5 over 6. We have started from x over 20. So here you cannot write that 
six over you think of this row this row so x over 20 equals to not six over five five over six x over 24 equals to 5 over 6. This is an equation. x equals to 5 over 6 cross multiplication. In the previous sum, we learnt it. Cross multiplication, 5 over 6 into 24. Here multiplication, so you could simplify that 6 is a multiple of 6, 24 is a multiple of 6, that 1 time and 4 times. Take the product of 5 and 4, that means multiply these two values, 5 into 4, x equals to 20, x equals to 20. Uh, I'm going to write the term x uh, here x here x here here 20 here x what was the value of x what was the value of x 5 using the learned method it can be taken the value of x x over 6, x over 6 equals to 24 over 20 O, you say, 24 over 20 O, 20 over 24, 20 over 24. This is an equation, x equals to 20 over 24 this is not changed this fraction is not changed that is written here into 6 this is multiplied so 20 over I will write it here 20 over 24 into 6 1 time and 4 times 1 time 4 times again you could simplify 20 over 4, 1 time and 5 times, so x equals to 5, x equals to 5, uh, here 5, uh, I will write uh, that the term x here, what is the value of x, we know the value of x that 6, Let's find the value of x. x over x over 5 equals to 24 over 20 or 20 over 24. You say started from here, started from here, x over 24. So 24 over 20. Cross multiply x equals to 24 over 20 into 5. 24 over 20 into 5. Simplify 1 time and 4 times, 1 time and 6 times. So the value of x equals to 6. This segment must be learnt then you will be able to do all the sums all the sums related to direct proportions as well as uh, the sums related to percentages uh, as well in the future okay